an entrepreneur, a mom, a wife, a friend to many in this room and many out there watching online around the world. And just generally speaking, she is one tough chick. And I'm so proud to call her a friend and to be working alongside her at Pink Petro TV. Please welcome the CEO and founder of Pink Petro and Experience Energy, Katie Maynard. Nothing happens without energy. Just ask Einstein. Are we losing power? <laughs> Did somebody forget to pay the power bill? Wow. So energy keeps our coffee hot, our, our iPads lit, it powers Wall Street, and it connects Silicon Valley. Which connects us. Energy fuels women and mankind, yet it is often misunderstood, undervalued, and it can be a little complicated. It's also changing dramatically, as we've been talking about today, and that means we need a new playbook. That playbook is all about grit. Growth is driven by resilience innovation, and transition in a transparent world. We've been talking about that all day, but energy people know grit, don't we? Spindletop, Tehachapi Wind, the North Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, the Hoover Dam, the Permian. Our industry is full of explorers, hunters, and risk takers and we bring life into our world. We got grit. Back in the 80s, oil was about Dallas. I remember seeing good old J.R. Ewing. Y'all know J.R.? <laughs> he was the oil baron, the villain of the show, the bad guy who made lots of money and got shot lots of times <laughs> and lived to it, right? You could say JR was about grit, but so 1980s. Grit today is about something different. In order to understand the new playbook, we've got to understand and start with transition. We're all in a state of transition. Feels like chaos, doesn't it? It's exciting, yet very painful. New technologies are replacing old, the workforce is changing, and this can be very disruptive and very personal. But we're not the only ones, right? All verticals are being affected. Look at what's happening in finance, in entertainment, in technology. Just about every vertical is being disrupted. But energy underpins it all, and that's the magic. Change eats silos for breakfast. What do I mean by this? Well, we can't live in our upstreams and our downstreams and our midstreams anymore. We need to live full stream. We've got to live the entire value chain. Energy must include all forms, fossils, alternatives, and the talent it's going to take requires all genders, all ethnicities, all generations if we're going to transition to new era. So while it feels a little like chaos, and maybe with a pinch of crisis, it's a tremendous opportunity. Transition is happening because of transparency. So you probably know about me, and I probably know about you way more than you want to know. We have 90% more information today than we did yesterday. And tomorrow, we will have 90% more information than we have in this moment. Transparency makes us very vulnerable. It's very disruptive and distracting. 
but it is so necessary so you can be seen, heard, and valued. I know each of you in this room have ideas, epic ideas. We are living in a time that gives you the opportunity to be your authentic self. And your companies and our industry need that. But sometimes you have to feel the energy before you can see the light. And I want to thank all the people in this room and online all over the world who felt the energy from the start. What do I mean by that? Well, Pink Petro was this crazy ideal conceived on a cocktail napkin over a bottle of wine with a bubba. My husband told me it was crazy. I thought it was crazy. It meant leaving a very comfortable Herman Miller chair to assemble a 79.95 FedEx special myself. But you guys got it. You saw the light. There's comfort in the old way and in the known. But as my friend and former FERC commissioner who was here earlier today, Colette Honorable says, you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable in order to grow. We don't get through change and that discomfort without innovation. But as we've been talking about, innovation is different. It's not the shiny devices and machines. It is about talent and culture. And it's about all of you and all of us. To get to growth, we need one final ingredient, resilience. So this is gonna sound just a little strange. It's International Women's Day and I'm thinking about a man. The man who helped me tap into the resilience I didn't know I had. Six months ago, when Hurricane Harvey slammed Texas and the world watched the disaster unfold, there was that man. His English was broken, my Spanish non-existent. But he showed up at the door as the waters rose and offered his hand and his boat. He saved me and my family. I am not used to being vulnerable and I am not one to quit. But in the weeks that followed, the six weeks I didn't work, I wanted to give up. I've been thinking about that man ever since those moments. We need to all be that man in the boat because that's what grit is about, community. Working to help each other in our careers, in our lives, and in our moments of crisis. We are not defined by what we achieve, but how we thrive. The fact is, everyone is living their own private hurricane. But there's a way out, grit. Working together, leaning in to solve some of the biggest challenges of our industry, climate change, sustainability, the energy gender gap. You know, when you're a part of a community, it grows, you grow. Capish? Today on International Women's Day, I'm also thinking about women. Women are the new global power. But guys, I haven't forgotten about you. You all have a massive role to play in the rise of women. Women cannot get anywhere unless men are with them. So this isn't your daddy's oil. And if I could rewrite Dallas, I'd like to call it Houston. No offense to anybody on the line. But Singapore, London, right? And the stars would be the real people doing the real work. Melody Meyer, who has worked with Chevron for nearly four decades all over the world. Claire Johnson, who started Sun Edison, which became the largest solar provider in North America. Vicki Bailey, the first female African-American FERC commissioner. These are women with grit. So in a few minutes, you will get some signs, so maybe on your tables, or we'll be handing those out to you. And later today, in a little bit, after you go grab your lunch, we're gonna take a massive selfie to show the world our commitment to strength, solidarity, sisterhood, and grit. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, Katie. That was so wonderful. Thanks for sharing your story with us. Okay, so it's time for you to go grab a little bit of lunch and then come back in here with your lunch in about 15 minutes and we will continue the